guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are at the Disneyland Resort. Today is the official first day of Halloween. Woo! Halloween runs from September 2nd to October 31st this year and I can't wait to bring you guys along and show you all the offerings. We have fireworks, we have entertainment, we have foods, we have treats. We even have a special ticketed event for Halloween which is called Boogie Boogie's Bash Party that runs on selected nights from September to October. I will be attending that on Halloween night so that will come at a later time. But today like I said is the first day. I'm so excited. I don't have a plan of what to do today so I'm gonna try to cover some today um, it's really really hot it's about 98 degrees so I'm not planning on staying here for long but I do have two months to cover as much Disney Halloween for you guys so with that said like let's get spooky you guys so I wanted to show you that they changed the banners at the Esplanade and there he is talking again <laughs> interrupting me but if you guys don't know what the Esplanade is it's the area in between Disney's California Adventure Park and Disneyland Resort and we have banners here with the bats on them we have the Mark Twain and in the second design this hot box ghost from the Haunted Mansion pretty awesome designs and then they also have the banners on those and it's actually the same design so there's only two designs this year but pretty neat I love the bats on this one right, so I have reservations for Disney's California Adventure Park so we're gonna go ahead and check out this park first I love that he's laughing so much that's so awesome one of my favorite things about the entrance is Oogie Boogie because he talks and at night he looks freaking amazing made it inside the gates of Disney's California Adventure and, and as you can see we have all the bunting and all the banners on the light post check out these bats and at night I think their eyes turn on and there's a big bat right on here where the monorail passes by but look at all this purple always so good we have the Hellas Horseman back here in the middle of Buena Vista Street. This is where they also put the Christmas tree, but during Halloween time, they put the Hellas Horseman. And let me tell you, this guy at night is one of the coolest things you'll see at Disneyland. Let me give you guys a 360. the front of Carthay Circle. Uh, Carthay Circle is one of those restaurants where it's I guess more on the fancier side for lunch or dinner but during every um, holiday season they do change up the marquee here. So we have a All Hallows Eve celebration marquee right in the middle of like the entrance and then if we go all the way to the top we do have a bunch of bats on there which is awesome. At night they do light this up and it looks pretty cool. Um, and every time I look at bats, I always think about that little girl, that TikTok. It's freaking bats! I love Halloween! <laughs> okay, I spotted some Halloween merch at the outside part of Carthay Circle. We have some Haunted Mansion ears. We have some Nightmare Before Christmas ears. We have the new Sally ears and the new Jack ears. And then we have some random merch. Let's check out the other side. So we have the cool stuff here. This is a bubble wand. We have some more Halloween ears. These are new. Fun stuff. We have some Mickey light up necklaces, which are pretty cool. And then we have two versions of Oogie Boogie hats. We have a bright green and we have like that burlap color. There's also this Happy Halloween shirt. This is a design for 2022. There's a lot going on in my opinion, <laughs> but we have pumpkins, we have ghosts, we have bats, we have the moon, we have happy Halloween, we have candy corn skulls, bones, potions. 
All right, I am on my way to Lamplight Lounge. I'm trying to see if I can do a walk up today. For Halloween, they have some special nachos. I don't remember the name exactly. I think it was called like ghost pepper nachos. They bring them every year. Uh, they used to be green, the nachos, but this year they're just regular tortilla chips, but the ingredients are the same. All right, I got lucky because I am a party of one. I was able to sit at the bar. So here's the bartender making my drink and I ordered from the secret menu, it's a drink called Zombie. Thank you so much. Yeah. So the Zombie consists of coconut rum, light rum, dark rum, spice rum, 151 proof rum, blue curacao, pineapple juice, orange juice, and grenadine. And the ghost pepper nachos consist of charred ghost pepper marinated chicken, smoky ghost pepper cheese sauce, black bean puree, avocado tomatillo salsa, and seasoned tomatoes. And the chicken was perfectly marinated, so juicy, so well cooked, it was so bomb. I tried the ghost peppermint churros. What did he say? And they were spicy. I did try them a couple years ago, but they're about the same kick, so it's not bad if you could do spicy. Um, I would suggest doing that. And they are only available at the boardwalk, which is the top dining of Lamplight. I believe if you go downstairs to the lounge area, I don't think they have them there because last year we had an issue getting them downstairs because of, they only had them upstairs. So our next stop, we are going to Cars Land. Um, I'll show you guys the decorations out there. But we are also making a piss off to Flo's Cafe. Uh, they have a um, Mater straw that is his Halloween costume from what they have at the park. So that is one of the Halloween offerings that they're having so i already mobile ordered right we are at cars land and let me show you this halloween themed board that they have it says happy halloween and we have a little cute witch car here and look at the decorations they're like a tire and the cones they make it like an evil face and they have it all across cars land here at Fillmore's, you can find treats and fruit and water. And as you can see, I know it's hard because of the glare of the sun, but they're decorated as ghost cars on this side. So on the tomato ride, we have some Halloween decor as well. We have some bat wings on Mater, and then so cute, we have graveyard jamboree. So during Halloween time, they call this the graveyard jamboree. I love that it's like a ghost car with Mater having bat wings. That's awesome. Here at Sarge's Surplus Hut Store, we do have some pumpkins in their yard which they're those little like gas cans but they look so cute it's like their own little pumpkin patch it's hard to tell but they do have the purple lights on right now and orange actually purple and orange lights on the street but you can see spiders we also have some spiders hanging from the top and then check out the cozy cones so in these cones back here they serve ice cream and popcorn uh, what else I'm trying to think churros I think but during Halloween they put faces on them and this place is possibly one of my favorite places in the entire Disneyland Resort because they go all out so spooky and then 
We are heading to Flo's B8 to pick up that Made Strong. But check it out. We have a spider in the middle of the entrance here with all the spider webs on top. Alright, so I just came from Flo's V8 and we picked up our mobile order for this cute straw. This is one of the Halloween items and it is Mater and it has a full-on straw here. And uh, for those of you who uh, don't come to Disney often during Halloween time, this is his actual costume that he wears at the parks. So it's so awesome to see that they put this into some kind of merchandise here this year. But check him out. He has like his little tie, his little vampire teeth, his hair, like Elvis style, right? It's so cool. Okay, and at this store, they still have it closed down from COVID. They haven't reopened, but they still decorate it on the top with like spooky branches. And if you can see, they have one of like the witch cars. And then what's really cool is that they have this like busted zombie car. And you can hear the noises. And at night, this lights up as well. For Luigi's Casa de la Tires, this is also a ride. But on the outside, as you can see, they decorate the bottom and they call it Honkin' Halloween. And then they change all the tires to having black and orange. And then at night, these turn on to, I don't know if it's orange or purple. At the House of Body Art store here, they have the Dia de los Muertos celebration on this side. I'll show you guys the inside. like the sugar skulls, right? Very cool, very cool. Okay, so here we have the ofrendas, which they call it in Hispanic cultures. And it is set up very nicely every year. They have the ofrendas for dog since in the movie he passes away, right? Alright, so once we approach the end of Cars Land, we have a Stanley, but with the witch hat. So during Halloween, <laughs> they put a witch hat, on, witch hat on Stanley. And the building behind him, it's decorated so let me back up a little bit and you can see how this is set up as eyes and then like the teeth and at night this all lights up and the lights move on here so it looks like the eyes are blinking but seriously Carson is one of the best areas of Halloween time and even Christmas so make sure to make a visit here do not miss out on Carson decorations We have a brujito stemmy. <laughs> you guys, it is so hot right now. My pants are sticking to my, my legs. Um, we are walking out of DCA, Disney's California Adventure, and we're gonna head out to Disneyland and show you guys a little bit of the decorations out there. I did mobile order two more straws. One is a lock, shock, and barrel straw. And the second one is some kind of Halloween candy straw. I'm thinking it's like a candy corn. So let's walk. Look at you, so gorgeous! Work it! <laughs> Love it! All right, so I stopped to take a picture with Daisy. She had like no lines, so I took the opportunity. But now we are walking out of DCA. And as you can see, we have Oogie Boogie. It's hiding between these trees. There he is. Bye, Oogie. See you next time. I'm also very thankful that I decided to bring my water bottle because I normally get lazy to bring it because it's heavy and it doesn't fit in my backpack but I'm glad I did because it's keeping me hydrated. It is about 96 degrees. Um, I feel like some of the areas of the park are empty. I don't know if it's because they're at Disneyland or because it's just super hot. People are just waiting to come in later today.
we made it to the front of Disneyland and I wanted to give you guys a closer look on the decorations that they have on top of the gates are the turn aka turnstiles so we have a pumpkin pluto a mickey goofy mini and donald duck and it goes all the way around which one's your favorite one i know everybody loves pumpkin mickey but i like goofy like how he has that hat and mini has like leaves for her bow and just donald like He's the best. I love Donald. I wanted to show you guys. For the first time, I think, in Halloween, they added flowers on around Mickey's eyes that make it into a mask. Isn't, ain't that so cool? Let me see if I can get a better look for you guys. And they just revealed this today. I guess it's like artificial grass now. on Main Street and look who's here we have giant Mickey over there let's try to get a closer look it's currently about 2 50 p.m. and this is the current situation to take a picture with pumpkin Mickey um, I would probably say this is like a 30 minute wait if not less because they do utilize both sides of his face they have um, photographers that take photos on this side and they have one on the other side so the line moves pretty fast and it's not bad for it being the first day of Halloween and here he is the cutest in town god I miss this guy so good to see him again We just walked into the Emporium on Main Street. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly the spirit jersey for this year. We have two ghosties, or actually three ghosties. The Mickey's new costume and like a tie-dye look. Black in the front, orange tie-dye at the bottom. And for the front, we have deeper Disneyland and Mickey with his little pumpkin hat. The Halloween tree is back again this year. There are pumpkins on the tree. But you have to see this at night though, because during the day you could miss this, but at night it's all lit up in orange and it is so freaking amazing. So the denim or like the jean jacket for this arrived today and it is so gorgeous. It actually has the skeleton on the arm as well and on the back as well I'm not sure what the price is so I just came from French Market I had mobile ordered two of the straw clips that they are offering for Halloween this is under candy corn and it's like a, I guess they call it like a glow cube and it has a little button here and you can press it and it turns on so let me see if I can make this any better let me see if there's any more settings yeah it looks like this one blinks and there it is this was about six dollars all right and the second one that they offer is this really awesome log shock and barrel look at how amazing this is and I like that the straw is actually black so it matches all the spooky vibes but let me flip this around so you guys can see more of the face details. That's pretty cool for it being small. They don't have funky faces like you would think. That's actually pretty rad. 
in the top with the little legs. Oh my goodness, and it does say Nightmare Before Christmas. And I think this one was $6.95 if I'm not mistaken. And if you guys have passes, discounts do apply. Haunted Mansion is back open as the holiday theme of Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, there is about a 60 minute wait, not too bad. I heard it was like two hours earlier this morning, but I will definitely show you guys on my next visit. I am skipping this out today, but so happy to hear that music once again. I forgot to take a video of this guy and already bit it on the side but this is like a buttery cookie that they have every year and it's a little pet cookie and he is so good they have him throughout the park so if you don't find it at Plaza Inn because I think they do sell out you can always get it at um, Red Rose Tavern next to Dumbo structure i had a wonderful time um i only got to taste the ghost pepper nachos if you could handle your spicy i would highly recommend it it's really good and if you don't like spicy then don't try it because it gets to you after a while so i would recommend them only if you like spicy foods and then as far as the bat cookie or the vampire cookie that's always recommended so give that a try it's only like six dollars i think but before i end my video i just wanted to show you guys that disney has the mummy pumpkins again from last year they sold out today they were everywhere and there was no line so if you guys want these go ahead and get them i think this year they're supposed to glow in the dark but i just wanted to give a shout out to my friend nick at wonders of magic he actually had an extra one from last year and he was nice enough to gift it for me so uh, if you guys don't know who Wonders of Magic is, they cover Disney content and Universal content. So I'll put his um, name on there so you guys can give him a follow. But isn't he so cute? Do, 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 do. All right, guys. So that is it. Stay spooky and happy Halloween.